US 26 courageous it was 26 wasn't it? yeah 26 so I built this boat 2017 so it's seven years ago And this was before I started 3D printing. So it was made by hand. I'm quite proud of it. I think I think it still looks pretty good. I um, will take it out to the boat shed now. It's not scale one to ten. It's one to ten point six. So it's slightly smaller than the current twelves. Courageous is a really cool boat, so I might still build it in scale 1 to 10 eventually. We'll see. So this is the back room. And this is uh, the Swarbrick Design 6475 that he's now turning into a 2.4 meter. Which I think is really cool. And uh, that wing keel is about a month's worth of work for me to to produce one of those and i have two i have one on, on this boat and i have one on uh, kookaburra three kookaburra three will be worked on uh, i plan a new sheet system for it uh, along the lines with the other ones I, and you can see it has the same Swarbrick design wing keel it will I have made a new rudder for it but I need to lift it down I probably need help to lift it down because this boat weighs 27 kilos below it we have another project <laughs> that, I, that I will have to work on it's um, it's Bjornen which is the Swedish word for bear and this this boat actually exists up in Stockholm so it's a tugboat with sort of a ice breaking bow which is pretty cool and uh, I have another tugboat if you have followed this channel you, you have seen this before this is Valkyrian and uh, it's one meter eight centimeters long and we have uh, it's been featured on the channel uh, quite often and it's built by a Danish guy that I wished I knew the name of, of the Danish guy but I don't really it's made in in uh, I think uh, sh thin sheet steel from tins like tin canned food it's a really really cool build and um i traded a, uh, a rc four wheel drive uh, four wheel oh, truck for for this scale one to ten truck so i'm really happy i have this it's a really cool build <laughs>
so it's quite messy in here but this is the original mast that I built for Kookaburra 3 and I have bought and I just received this week this um, it's a six millimeter quarter inch um, carbon fiber tube and it will be glued on the back of this rig so I'm going to update this rig and then cut a sail groove this was back when I I just uh, I used uh, dent, dental floss to tie the, the sails but uh, th these rigs cannot really be strong enough because the the boats are so heavy and and they bow a lot so I will this will be glued on the back and and then cut a sail groove so another project so we actually got a half an inch of snow overnight and mo the sun took most of it but you can see where the sun didn't didn't reach it's still here and it's cold now it's probably around 30 degrees Fahrenheit or minus one right now but um, so no test floating the odd link is 12 I'm hoping next weekend I will be uh, test floating the old Linquist 12 with the rig and then uh, like I said uh, do some sail designs and hopefully make several suits of sails when I go down to the loft so I want to thank everyone for subscribing and and uh, not that much progress on this uh, but I, I got a few things done anyway and and uh, I, I hope to post another video next weekend. Thank you very much for watching and thanks for giving me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're not. Thank you.